Hello and welcome back to SAP S4HANA Asset Management Training. We are still exploring the Fiori Launchpad and this time we're going to look at the Lean Services app. We start by going to the Purchaser group, then to Lean Services. From here we can filter by editing starters. We can also filter by approval starters. We also have the search capability and other filters on this screen. We are going to create a new service entry sheet. And here we need to enter the some basic data, name of service entry sheet that we are creating. We also need the reference purchase order. And those two are mandatory fields. And then on the right hand side, you have the posting date for goods receipt, which is an optional field. So the reason we need a purchase order is lean services are services that we are purchasing from vendors. And in such cases, you need a purchase order. So it looks like the purchase order that I have here is not correct. So I'm going to select the date and then I'll look up the correct purchase order that I had created earlier. So this is a purchase order that I had created earlier. So I'm going to select that. And now all that information is complete. So I need to go ahead and create that service entry sheet. And now you can see it here. I'm going to add one because I just need to create one of them. So if I click on add, it gets me to this screen where I have the supplier, it's black and white service. And as you can see, I have the basic data that I have for this supplier. I'm gonna click on create. And just wanted to do that to show you there are two things that I need here. I need to enter the performance period and I also need to enter the quantities of this service that I'm procuring from the vendor. So I'm going to go back to the standard screen. And now since I have the service entry sheets in the system, I can search. And I have two of them here. From here, you can navigate to supplier master you can also navigate from PO to manage purchase order then if you select the first entry as you can see we can go to show details and now we have the stated amount we have the date it was created and approval status in in our case it has been approved so from supplier you can also go to more links and these are apps that you can navigate to. I'm going to hit cancel. And now this time I'm going to go to supplier master. This is the manage supplier master screen. And we have several filters there. And at the bottom we have the black and white service who happens to be our supplier for that service. You can export this, you can show details, you can also go to object page. And it looks like I don't have access to that page. So I'm going to navigate back. This is a manage supplier master screen. I'm going to go back one more screen. Now at this point, we have the two service entry sheets that we created. I'm going to select the first one. And as you can see, this has been approved. I'm going to try to revoke the approval. Uh, let's see whether I have the authorization to do that. So I'm going to enter the date and revoke approval. And it looks like I don't have approval to revoke it. But that is how you revoke a service entry sheet. So in summary, we have four processes here. 
uh, the process flow, purchase requisition, purchase order, service entry sheet, and then goods receipt. So thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to our channel and in the next video.